Hello, my dear students. Welcome to chemistry classes. So, in this class, we are going to deal with the previous year need problems on the topic solid state. Okay. So, let's discuss about the, the first problem here. This problem was asked in need 2017. Need exam 2017. So, let's read the, read the question. Which is the incorrect statement? So, the, they have given four statements and we have to find out which is the incorrect statement among them okay here the very best method to solve a need or the competitive examination is elimination method please remember elimination means by seeing directly we can eliminate one or two options by, remo uh, by removing two options the remaining two options have got the correctness chance of 50 50 okay so on the basis of that correctness chances we can get the answer so this is the first one which is an incorrect statement so density decreases in case of spotted effect it is correct the density decreases in case of spotted effect because spotted effect means what the equal number of cations and anions are removed from the crystal so the density decreases so this is correct we have to identify incorrect answer which is the wrong answer we have to identify so option B will not be the answer. Next, NaCl is an insulator. See here, NaCl they have mentioned solid. The ionic solids are insulators. The ionic compounds in solid state are insulators. Why? Because the ionic solid in ionic solids at ionic solids the ions are not free to move. So because of that reason they are insulators. When these ionic solids are dissolved in the water or in aqueous solution the ions are free to move they can conduct electric current so in solid ionic substances are insulators so this is also so this is correct the silicon is semiconductor yes you all know about this silicon is a semiconductor good semiconductor silver is a good conductor silver is a conductor and quartz is piezoelectric quartz piezoelectric crystal quartz piezoelectric means what the compound which produces electric current on applying strain if we apply the strain on the compound it will produce electric current that is called as a piezoelectric material on applying the pressure it will generate electric current so the quartz is such type of material so this is also correct statement it will not be our answer let's check out option number c Frenkel defect is favored in those ionic compounds in which the size of cation and anions are almost equal this is wrong isn't it so in frankel defect what happens the size of cation and anion there must be a, a difference between the size of cation and anion so this is our wrong incorrect statement so this is our answer and we'll check uh, fourth one also why because in neat exam what happens the some questions are given in those questions more than one options are correct so in that condition we have to check out all the options See the option FeO 0.98 has non stoichiometric metal deficiency defect. So, metal deficiency means what in this compound, which one is metal? Iron is metal, isn't it? Oxygen is non metal. For one iron, I have only 0.98 oxygen. Here, the lesser amount is non metal, not the metal. Here, metal is not deficient, but non metal is deficient in this compound. So, this is also wrong, incorrect statement. So, this is also the answer. Now, the answer is C and D. So, it is asked in need 2017. Now, like this, we have to solve. Next, come to this problem. In calcium fluoride, the compound is calcium fluoride having fluoride structure. This compound have got fluoride structure. You must have the idea about fluoride structure. The coordination number of Calcium ions and fluoride ions are the coordination number of calcium ions and fluoride ions are here. So, before solving this, let us see what is fluoride structure. There are uh, there are so many uh, the structures are there for the ionic compounds. One of them is fluoride structure. Let us see what is fluoride structure. Fluoride structure here. Yeah. The best example for the fluoride structure is calcium fluoride. 
कैल्शियम फ्लोराइड जनरली इट इज गिवन एज एम एच टू टाइप द फ्लोराइड आर गिवन एज एम एच टू फॉर वन मेटल देर आर टू नॉन मेटल कैल्शियम हेलाइट्स आर द सम हेलाइट्स आर हैव व्हाट दिस दिस स्ट्रक्चर मैग्नीशियम हेलाइट कैल्शियम हेलाइट लाइक दैट हियर इन दिस स्ट्रक्चर इन कैल्शियम क्लोराइड हियर कैल्शियम आयंस आर प्रेजेंट एट द एफसीसी द कैल्शियम एक्यूफाइड द एफसीसी मींस द थ्री डायमेंशनल स्ट्रक्चर इज मेड बाय एफसी मेड बाय कैल्शियम द कैल्शियम आयंस विल फॉर्म आवर Crystal lattice. The crystal lattice is generated by unit cell is generated by calcium. So calcium Ca2 plus and this fluorine give uh, fluorine is identified as fluoride in the ionic compound. So it will acidify FCC and this will acidify tetrahedral whites. Fluoride ion will acidify tetrahedral whites. and calcium ions acidify the fcc please remember f for f for the metal fluoride in fluoride structure fcc fcc is generated by the calcium ions fcc means what how many lattice uh, points are there in fcc lattice points means the number of atoms present in, or number of particles present in fcc in fcc fcc means what face centered cubic crystal or cubic Unit cell, cubic lattice. In FCC, the particles are present at all the corners, and as well as particles are present in each face. So the contribution of particles at the corner is one by eight into how many corners are here? Eight corners, isn't it? And the contribution of the particle present at the face is one by two for a particular unit cell. And how many faces are there for a unit cell? Six faces are there. So the number of particles in one FCC unit cell is equals to one plus two hundred two three zero four. Means the four calcium ions are there in one calcium chloride calcium chloride unit cell. And we know that. If n is the number of particles, then how much will be the tetrahedral whites? Two n will be the tetrahedral whites. If n number of particles are there in the cell, two n number of tetrahedral whites are formed. Means if four atoms are there in the FCC, how many tetrahedral whites are formed? Eight tetrahedral whites are formed. The number of whites will be eight tetrahedral whites, and these tetrahedral whites are occupied by the fluoride ions. Means number of calcium ions are four. Number of fluoride ions are eight, isn't it? In this condition, now what we have to calculate? We have to calculate coordination number. What is coordination number? The number of nearest neighbors or the number of the oppositely charged ions present around the given ion. Here, for calcium ion, oppositely charged ions are fluoride ions. Around one calcium ion, eight fluoride ions are there. Means The eight lattice points are there around one calcium ion. Means the coordination number of calcium is eight. Here, around one positive ion, eight negative ions are there. Means the coordination number of that positive ion is eight. And around one negative ion, the around surrounding ions will be positive only. So around one negative ion, four positive ions are here. The coordination number is four. The answer will be eight and four. option c is the answer option c is the answer so this is also very simple and please remember this is fluoride structure and there is one more structure called as anti fluoride anti fluoride is opposite of this here m to x that structure is m to x m to x means what example is na2o na2o here this is exactly opposite of this and right here na2o Here Na plus I, here the Ca2 plus I will acidify FCC and F minus acidify tetrahedral whites. Here these will acidify tetrahedral whites and O minus O2 minus ion will acidify this Na plus ion will acidify tetrahedral whites and O2 minus ion will acidify FCC. And for each unit cell, 
the number of O2 minus ions are four, and the number of Na plus ions are eight. The coordination number of this will be four, and coordination number of this will be eight. For for anti-fluoride structure, the coordination number is four and eight. For fluoride, eight and four. Okay. So I hope this video is helpful to you. And please say like and comment. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more of such type of videos. Okay. Thank you so much for watching.